What's up everybody? Justice Good here, back with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create a Saturday Night Live inspired poster. I got this email from Shane Byrne asking me to do a poster, kind of like uh, this recent set of ones that you see for Saturday Night Live adverts. And it's just pretty much kind of like a brightly colored but simple funky poster. So I'll show you how to do that. Also, thanks for everyone with your recent support on my Action Pack 3. Let's go ahead and get started here. First pick out an original photo and you want it to be of a person or an object kind of in full length. You don't want it to be a close-up shot but uh, as long as it's something that you can distinguish from the background. So first off I'm gonna make my picture smaller by going to image, image size and I'm going to work with something like 1100 width and we got a nice workable size here. Yours is, is going to be different um, so you might not have to change the size. Now there's lots of ways that you can cut an image out of a background. The most accurate is probably the pen tool but for this tutorial I'm going to go ahead and just use the quick selection tool that you'll find under here in the lasso section. If you see the magic wand tool instead just click it and hold there until you see the drop down menu. And with this tool you can pick a brush size and make sure it's set to this one here with the addition add to selection and then just brush over the area and Photoshop will automatically pick out what you're trying to highlight. This works for most images. Sometimes it gets a little tricky but don't worry just go slow and if you need use a smaller brush size. As you can see it accidentally selected the area in between here so all I have to do is go to subtract from selection up here and subtract those areas that I didn't originally want. Once you've got a pretty good overall selection you want to click refine edge and what that does is it allows you to smoothen things out. So I'm going to change the radius increase it a little bit and you can also brush over sections that you want to add to But for this type of poster, it doesn't have to be exact. All I want to do is make sure it's not so choppy. So I'll increase the smoothness a little bit. And then you can adjust the feathering and contrast if you'd like. Shift edge, you can bring it in a little bit or bring it out a little bit. But generally, just bringing it out a little bit compensates for the quick edge. So that looks pretty good. Once you've got that selection, go ahead and right click and then layer via copy. So now you have your selection on a whole new area. And what you want to do is now f create a new layer, new fill layer, layer, new fill layer over here, solid color. And you want to pick a bright color kinda like a pastel that complements your photo so I'm gonna choose a green it's really important that you pick just the right shade not too bright that just looks not good and not too dark somewhere in this pastel region so that looks about right and then you wanna position your object a little bit better than it originally was. You can also change the size if you'd like. I just used Command T as a shortcut for Edit Transform. So as you can see you can scale it. Now beware if you scale it up you're gonna lose some quality. So I like the object right around there and then as a little detail kinda of to add to the pop art style you want to mess with the colors a little bit. So go to Image, Adjustments, Hue Saturation. And just move the slider a little bit one way or the other. 
I'm going to move it so that my guy turns a little more red. And then you can increase the saturation too if you'd like. Don't worry if it doesn't look realistic, that's the point. And now one more thing that we can do. I just moved him to the right a little bit. You can always use your arrow keys on your keyboard to get a little bit of adjustment as long as your move tool is highlighted. And if you hold shift and use the arrow keys, it moves it by like 5 or 10 pixels rather than one at a time. That's always a useful trick. I use it a lot. But now you want to right click, duplicate this layer, and move it beneath your original layer. And then I'm going to use my arrow keys just to move him a little bit off the original image. Now you want to set this layer to lighten. You could also set it to difference or exclusion. But what I'm going to do is set it to lighten and then go to image, adjustments, hue, saturation, colorize, and then turn the saturation all the way up. Turn the brightness up until you see that faint shadow and then adjust it to whatever color you want. I'm going to use kind of that bright orange red and then what you can also do is go to filter blur motion blur and just do something along the lines of 5 to 15 you don't even have to do a motion blur sometimes it doesn't look better with one and you can also play around to see if it looks better on screen lighten or color dodge depending on your background color that you chose so I think that's a pretty good touch now that I have both of those layers I'm gonna actually hold shift select both and then reposition it again because we kinda have a new object I just moved it to the left a little bit I think it visually looks better there and then one final touch is the text. You can write whatever you want. This is just keeping it true to the original style of the poster we're trying to emulate, but I'm going to use JTG for just this good and make it proportionally fitting. So not too big, not too small, something to fill in the area that you're working with. And then you also want to make it kind of a darker pastel color that complements your object and your background. So I'm going to use like a dark red. Again, positioning is key. So you see, you can play around with the sizing, the positioning. Sometimes it looks good when the text is just really small. Sometimes over, under, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. But you just have to have an eye for this thing and you develop that over time. Now that I have all of those, again, I can position the whole thing. I'm always adjusting the positioning to make it look best. I can even crop my image a little bit. Oops, gotta make sure it's free form. I can even crop my image a little bit to my liking. You don't have to do any of that. But as you can see everything's kind of like in a line with the rule of thirds and just what visually looks good to me. And then one last thing I'm going to do is add a border. So I just went to Layer, New, Layer, or you can use Shift, Command, N as a shortcut. But once you have this new layer on top of everything else, grab your rectangular marquee tool. Or you can even do Select, All, and then right click, Stroke, Inside, and pick a color. You can use white or black depending on your color. I think white will look better with this one. And then I'm going to make it at around 10 to 15 pixels depending on your original image size. Once you're ready, right click deselect and you have your final image. So you can add any of your own creative touches or flares, but I think this is pretty true to the original SNL inspired poster. So thanks to Shane for the suggestion.
and thanks for watching hopefully you don't have any trouble let me know if you have any comments or if you learn anything from this I tried to go a little more in depth with this tutorial and really explain everything I'm doing so that even if you don't like the image we're creating hopefully you still learned some useful tips and tricks so please subscribe to my channel for more like this video and until next time